Welcome back on this very windy day up here at Maple Motors. And I say that because it's gonna affect the film here, or sound quality, but I gotta get the test drive out to you. What I like to do is I take trucks like this 1969 C10 down the road and point out flaws. Anything I see, I will let you know. Look at the detailed photos at maplemotors.com along with financing and shipping. Up under the hood here is a 350. It does have power steering, aluminum radiator, power brakes, and this motor actually runs nice and smooth. Very easy to start this morning. Uh, the paint job on this one's beautiful. I'm at aftermarket American racing rims, disc brakes in the front, drum in the rear. Pretty decent sound and exhaust. The bed in this one is nice and clean. And of course, I do these test drives on every vehicle on the lot. So be sure to hit subscribe, share, hit like, and uh, you'll be able to keep following us on all the new rides that we get in every Monday. And of course, that's Monday at 11. That's when you'll see all the new rides from Maple Motors. All right, guys, it's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Happy birthday shout out. Oh, what's up, man? Thank you. Hey, man, happy birthday. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Once again, let's look around the interior, but first, place those bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel here. Interior's looking pretty good. Starts up nice, got great oil pressure. Engine temperature looks like it's creeping up. We'll be checking that throughout the video periodically. Gas gauge is up on this one. We'll check it going down the road, but I do believe they told me they already added gas and it is good to go. Wipers, working. Blower motor. Don't hear anything kicking on here. And generally it would have already. Let's say blower motor needs work. Does this work? Sure does. You gotta give her gas. All right. Left turn signal, right turn signal. All the way up with the radio. Try to blow our heads off here. No. Nope. No sound. No action. Horn! There's no spring. It doesn't work. Much as I want it to. The horn is not functional. Let's hit the road. Okay, so we're getting ready to take off here. I've got like half a seat belt, so I'm gonna get out and see if I can find the other half of the seat belt here. coming forward anymore it doesn't look like we have the other half the only part we got is this side so something that'll have to be added of course before y'all say anything i get my haircut tomorrow i know i know i got an appointment we're good i don't look crazy tomorrow steering on this one feels pretty good Nice and easy. It's not squeaking or making any noises. Just kind of checking everything out before we get out on the road here. Cruising through some of the businesses right next door to the lot. Definitely want to check that out when you come through. Some pawn shops. I know. I like pawn shops. I usually go to any of them I see. Let's roll. Speedometer's coming up. Gas gauge is working. You can tell because it's floating around. The gas is floating around in the tank behind me. Let's see if we can get her straight here. Got a slight left pull. I mean, just barely. It's fairly straight. That's about as straight as you need it. You shouldn't need any work on the steering there. It's nice and tight. Brakes. Yeah, brakes feel good. Back into brakes. They're not pulling left or right. 
They're doing what they're supposed to. Keep down. Not hooked up. Don't do it, don't do it. He about did, did you see that? <laughs> All right. Now I wanna get some undercarriage shots. I'm also gonna get some outside stuff passing by the camera. And uh, then we'll end with picking out the flaws. That's when I walk around looking at chips, scratches, lower panels, any kind of rust, dents, whatever I find. And of course that's gonna be located towards the end of the video. Right now, I still got a little bit more driving to do, a little bit more outside stuff to do. Look below in the description, you can pick up some, let's go for a ride shirts. You can also see all the gear I used to make this video. All right, let's do it. far so good heading back to the lot looks like our engine temperature did come up oil pressure is up gas gauge working speedo is working she's staying cool I heard a little squeaking noise it sounded like it was coming from the back drivers rear brake it quit they are drum back there so could have picked up something could have had a little bit of rust or something in there and I got to drive and then it started wearing it off. A lot of little factors make it squeak like that. But. Tire kick.
double check y'all. Hey, you're looking pretty good. Just wanna make sure you're straight. Sometimes I'll get done the video, be all slanted. That's no fun. Back in the brakes. I gotta turn my turn signal on. Just driving around with it off. You gotta manually turn the turn signal off on this one. It doesn't cut off by itself. A little bit of a wine. Almost sound like power steering. I'm gonna try to get out of these people's way. Somebody just flew around. Nice. Alright. Sound like power steering for a second, but it kind of went away. Kicking rocks. That's what that noise was. Almost sounds like a power steering, but it seems like it's doing it when I hit the brakes. Let me try it again. No, it's power steering. It's got a little wine to it. it. May have a little bit of a low power steering box, so we need to check that out and make sure it's full. But now that we're back at the lot, we're going to picking out the flaws. Check that old project truck over there. Missing the front end. That ain't ours. It's customers, I guess. So we're going to picking out the flaws. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget, hit subscribe. I'm gonna make a thumbnail pick. See you later. All right, picking out the flaws. We're gonna be walking around looking for chips, scratches, rust, dings, whatever I can find. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. Yeah, finance, shipping, and hold don't mean sold until it's paid for. If the cash is not here, hold does not mean sold until the cash is out. All right, let's get started. Coming around the front end. You can see it does have scratches around the grill here. You got pitting on your chrome on the front bumper. hole right here. Whatever for something's. Oh, that's matching on the other side. It must be missing a screw. A couple dings on the side. Tires in great shape. Basically brand new wheels. Up and over. A little scuff there. Got some hazy marks here on the inner part. Maybe need a little buff on them. See them on the edge there too. Lower portion up and over. This truck's nice and clean so far. Really? Light little spot there. Paint job's beautiful. You can really see reflection in it. Slight imperfections in there. You probably cannot see them on the camera. Door handle's fairly new. Mirror is new. Emblem looks new. When I say new, I mean replaced. Front windshield on this side. It's like maybe a light, yeah, there's a light scratch from the windshield wipers. It's going all the way over there. Very small.
a little dry right there around the vent window. Got a little pitting around the window as well. Little wax left on top. Let's see some. Tailgate's nice. Looks like they replaced the tail lights as well. Back bumper is still older, it's got pitting. The bed on this thing is beautiful. Really nice shape. Coming up on the front here, see some haziness there. A little hazy here as well. And in the cab corner there. Also a spot back here, it's hazy. I think that stuff should buff out. You can see it on the edge here. It's almost wiping off too, like it's wax or compound or something left over. Streaks from the gas, it's coming off too. door handle there is showing a little age. Oh, chip in the middle of the front windshield right here. Little cracks right there in the vent window area. Pitting here. Top of that fender's in good shape. All right, let's open her up. Check out the inside. Door panel on this one. Just nice, nice and clean. At the bottom. Your jam, seal. Carpet's been replaced at one point. You can see it's in nice shape. I got it dirty taking it out here and driving it around everywhere. The seat's a little squished here, but it's not ripped, tore. The fabric feels soft. It's got good design. It's not just a basic seat there. Somebody did a good job putting that together. Looking around the interior. Reach in. Let's try it again. I'm not giving it gas. Starts up pretty easy. Engine temperature is up. It was working. 
show you the mileage. You can't stand behind that in a 69 model. Not without proof. Show me the proof. I don't have it. <laughs> Good throttle response. If you softly shut it, it won't shut all the way. Give her a good old Chevy Slam. Smooth on this one, runs good. Do got a little rust up in here at one time. It looks like it's been cleaned up. Pretty solid. Hey, it's true. Remember where that came from. Look at that. The horn's hooked up, but it's just not working. Must be in the uh, steering wheel. Got a couple dangle me wires. I'm not sure what that's supposed to be hooked up to. It's not hot, so. Don't try that at home. Sauce was nice on this one. Wires tied up there, I'm not sure. They got it tied to the frame. At least that one's tied up good. That one random one over here I'd like to tie up. Under the hood. Very nice. Sitting a little high over here. Got her pushed down. She's flush. It was the hinge. Don't forget, hit subscribe, share, hit like. That helps me out more than you know, and I appreciate that, guys. Check out maplemotors.com for detailed pictures. All of our inventory is updated every Monday. Financing and shipping is available. Again, thank you. I'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.